Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy is Promo. Today I'll be showing you three hidden features you didn't know was on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out all the videos I've made so far for the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. The first hidden feature that we'll talk about today is let's say that you're inside of text messaging, but we're gonna talk about what happens when you do a press and hold on the space bar. So let's say that we go through and we needed to add in a little bit more words, you're typing off, but then you needed to make a change earlier inside of that sentence. Right out of the box, out of the gate, it actually turns into the cursor. So you can just basically swipe on over, going left or right, and then you're able to move that cursor to add in more words or make any type of a correction. Now, let's say that you wanted to go through and change what this function is for the press and hold. Now, if you see words right here, that just means that you're with inside of a text message or, or you're writing something, you wanna switch that into your icons and head over into settings now inside of settings you go to swipe touch and feedback and this is where you do the touch and hold space bar so it turns into the cursor control and this is again out of the box but maybe you want to maybe mid-sentence start using your voice and so now what you're able to do is when you head on back let's say that we're right over here uh, then you wanted to add in more by doing a press and hold so if you press and hold subscribe to this channel please and then you're able to put that right inside of there and uh, and then you're able to add it in. So subscribing is the first thing that pops up in my head uh, when I shoot YouTube videos. But other than that, that is how you're able to change what happens when you do a press and hold with your space bar. So either you can have it as none, it can also do the uh, recognizing of your voice or the cursor control. Hidden feature number two is inside of Penup. Now, Penup is a way that you're able to make drawings and you're able to share it. It's kind of like Instagram. Uh, but inside of here, there is something that's really cool. Um, underneath the plus button, you can do a thing that is called photo drawing. Now, for me, you know, I have the Galaxy Note series. I love the Galaxy Note series more than the S series. It comes with the S Pen. Uh, and actually, coloring and drawing is fun, but I'm not good at it. One of the cool things you're able to do is take a picture of an object or an item or a person, and then you're able to draw over that picture now the other thing is that you can also take something from your gallery so I've already taken a picture um, of this Charmander right over here uh, and so what's really nice about this is that I'm able to show this to Bentley later on you can also show how much opacity you want kind of in the background and so I don't need to have it too dark I'm just gonna go with this type of um, you know picture right here now with this one here you're able to zoom on in uh, you can choose whatever you know pen or color or brush pencil whatever you need to change you can make all the changes right here and then you just kind of go on through and make your drawing so with this one you can go through and kind of do an outline uh, as you kind of you know make that full outline you can change how big you want maybe your paintbrush and then you can go through and you can start making your painting which actually this one's pretty thick um, and so as you just kind of go through you can kind of see that you're able to make uh, a drawing off of an image and then this image right here this little icon you can take away the background so you can see how you're doing so let's say that we kind of go through really fast um, and now also too if you are dealing with very fine lines you can zoom in you know very 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 close uh, there is I need a little bit of a white color right, I need to get just a little bit of white color right inside of there just to kind of make his eyes glow just a little bit more and then again you can see how it's going to turn out so this one's a little droopy I'd probably have to fix that um, but then when you are done you hit on the done and then you can also share it so because I do want to show you a finished product, let's go back. This was actually one of those images that I did. I took a picture of myself. I was walking to pick up my son. That's an umbrella. And I was able to trace around and do all of that really fun, cool stuff. Uh, and then down over here, this was a Lego or a little piece of a mini figure Luigi. And I was able to really get inside of there and do some drawings. Uh, and you can share this really anywhere and everywhere you want to. This was a picture of Bentley. I was able to kind of draw him off and you can, you can definitely see that that's him. And so it's pretty fun to kind of go through here take images and do a drawing on top of a real image and it's one of those things that just kind of keeps your mind busy uh, some people might find it therapeutic for me uh, I would love to draw I'm just not good at it but tracing on top of an image and then coloring it in that's good enough for me 
Hidden feature number three is inside of the camera. Now the camera is something that you might use every single day, multiple times a day, but there also might be a shooting mode that you use all the time. Maybe you always use it in pro mode and then when you're done, you exit it out, you closed all of your applications. Uh, about an hour later, you go back inside your camera, it's back onto photo and it's not inside of the one that you use all the time. So you always have to make those changes. Well, this is a way that you can actually go through and keep the last mode used. So if you scroll down, which I guess one thing I do want to show you is because we're in pro, a lot of this is going to be kind of uh, grayed out and you're not really able to make some of these changes. So if you go inside and you notice you're trying to make changes inside of your settings, but some of them are grayed out, make sure you just go back to photo. It's pretty much a default, you know, shooting mode. So this is where you can go through and then make these changes. But other than that, what we're going to talk about is you want to go inside of camera modes. Inside of camera modes, you have this option here that is called keep using last mode. So every single time that you go back inside of camera, then you're able to use that very last mode. So let's say we go over into video and then I hit on the home button. I close it on out. As you've seen from before, it goes inside of photo right away. Well, once you open up camera, it's going to go right back into that last mode that you used. So as example, let's go right on back over inside of here. I'm going to scroll down camera modes just to prove it to you. Turn it off. Uh, now we're going to go back over here. We are inside of video. Now if I hit the home button, recent apps, close out of it, go back inside, it's going to go right back over into photo. So if you're somebody who always uses a particular shooting mode and you hate having to change it every time you go in, then this is a way that you're able to do it. And one thing I've never really tested was one of these cameras as well. So let's do the ultra wide. And I just want to make sure that this one is turned on. This is actually me uh, just kind of playing with this right away. So keep using the last mode, it's turned on. Uh, I'm inside of the photo and it's also on the ultra wide. So let's see what happens if I was to close out. This is something that I've never really tested. Um, uh, okay, so it goes right on back. So it's really talking about the last shooting mode, not the way it's set up inside of that mode, which I guess it makes sense. It puts it right back into default. But again, if you are wanting to use this one and go right on back over inside of a shooting mode that you always use, then this is something that you're able to turn on. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You subscribe right over here, the very bottom left hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.